Hey guys, welcome home. Welcome to your brand new to you 2021 23 DBH Gray Wolf. I think I said that right. Now I'm not a I'm not a camper trailer salesman, but I will give you the rundown on this. Come on in, have a cup of coffee. I'm lying. There's no more coffee. I drank it all. So you come to the left here. You're gonna come straight into your. Uh, I think this is a queen size bed. Yeah, not bad. I'm six foot five and I fit in it pretty good. I'm lying. I'm not six foot five. I'm only five foot four. But you get the gist of it. So we've had some upgrades to this, as you can see, plenty of storage. This is the perfect camper for any family. Come on in, camera guy. I'll show you right here. We got a TV installed. We're leaving that behind because we like you guys. We want you to have a great time on your new camping adventures. Come on by. Come on by. Got windows, charger ports everywhere, USB, the works. So we got power outlets everywhere. Another side, another side of the bed over here. Go in there. Boom. Got more storage. All right, let's get on to the good stuff. So check it out. We got a fireplace. Yeah, you can set the mood. Set it to whatever color you want. This also puts out heat, brightness, uh, lights, camera action. Come over here, Mrs. Camera Lady. This is also my wife. And we'll turn on the main lights. Got tons of lighting everywhere. Um, turn that back off. But look, this is really cool right here. The um, slide lights. So you got blue lights. You can really get your party on in here. All right, so we got a family of five. This is supposed to sleep eight. I know we've probably swung about six to eight people in here. We've only been on three trips. We've done the Smoky Mountains up in Tennessee, Colorado Springs in, in Colorado, obviously, and uh, our Garden of the Gods, whatever you call it. What was the other place we went? I can't remember. Illinois. Somewhere in Illinois. So it's been very low mileage. So you got your water heater, your water pump. This is your battery button to check your battery juice, your fresh tank, your black tank, your gray tank. Okay, this is gonna put the slide in and out right here, and then this is gonna put the awning out. So there's an awning right here, if you look right here. Boom, there's an awning there. It also has an LED strip right there. You can get that in the video there. Boom, LED strips. All right, bring it on in. Bring it on in, bring it on in. So we got an air conditioning unit here. I mean, this thing's like a freaking ice box when you use this thing, it's nice. All right, and then you got heat, you got gas heat, okay? Can't remember if heat comes out of there or not, I think it does not, it just comes out there. You got these really nice appliances. Okay, everything in here is really nice. Like I said, this is very lightly used. The only reason we're selling it is because we upgraded to a fifth wheel. All right, so we needed something a little bit bigger for our friends and family. So you got a table that turns into a bed. Uh, you got more storage here. Both drawers there. This seat comes out, more storage. You got more storage here. You got more storage in these drawers there. You got gas, top stove, oven, which has never been used. It's brand new, so never been used. We, we kept the old TV. We had a TV here, but we kept that for our new camper. This is this is uh, this was important for us when we were in the market purchasing a camper. And this is what we, that really appealed to us about the 23 DVH was that it, it had the twin bunk beds. I mean, you could really get two people in each one of these. We got twins. Um, so they were able to easily sleep in there. I also, I'll show you more about this, but I went ahead. You guys can put, if you buy this, you can do whatever you want. I took the screws out of this. This gets us more access to the storage unit here. You could even put this on a hinge, whatever you want to do. But this gets you more access because it's really hard to get the, the access spots back there. So close that back up. And I always do that. Uh, you know, it just makes it easier to get into it. Obviously, we got a brand new door handle because if you know anything about campers, these things, you know, you got to tinker with them. The first day out, door handle broke. So we got a new door handle for you. This bathroom is spacious. Again, I'm six foot five and I have no problem inside this shower. I mean, it's amazing. I'm not really six foot five. I'm five foot five. But if you were six foot five, you swoosh a little bit, but you can get it done. And then you got a nice toilet. You can sit there. You can stand there. You can do all that. You got a door. We added these privacy blinds. These were really expensive. Everything's really expensive, okay? Everything, I mean like everything, no matter what it is. Put these new blinds in. Got you know, cabinet space for your medicine and stuff. More storage. Here's the original doorknob that broke when we first bought the camper. We replaced it with the nicer one. Um, you know, the thing about these campers is they, they happen to fall apart. 
you know, a little prematurely. But this was in good shape. So we got these little cups here. You guys can keep these or whatever you want to do. Good for toothbrushes and whatnot. And then I'll keep it coming back on out. You know, it's not the biggest camper, but it's not the smallest either. I think this one's about 28 feet long, um, 28 and a half feet. Then you got your sink here, which is nice. Everything's winterized. There's no water in it right now. So we got antifreeze, RV antifreeze through everything. You got your uh, soap dispenser. Now I'm going to post some photos of how we were camping on our campsites, how we had it all set up. So the camper is pretty plain Jane right now. You're gonna have to buy some stuff. The only thing that's included is the power wire and the Reese tow head, just as important. If you go to any one of these RV dealerships, they wanna sell you these things and they got me. I'm not gonna lie, they got me, they got me good. Bought all those warranties, bought the hitches and all that stuff. So I bought the Reese one, it's like a thousand bucks. That's gonna help you with sway and weight distribution on the camper. So depending on what kind of truck you have, you're gonna wanna use that. I still would use it even with my truck, which I have a Super Duty, which is a diesel, which is more than capable of towing this. But when I first bought it, I had a half ton pickup truck and it did pretty good with it. So if you guys got a half ton pickup truck, that's awesome. It also is included as a, uh, a backup camera, which is trash. They just come from the manufacturer. They don't work very good. I never used it. Be a man, don't use cameras, get out and look. It doesn't have the back clip, you're gonna have to find that on Amazon or something. But you're lucky I'm giving you the camera. So we'll go outside, take, I think I pretty much showed you everything in here, did I show them everything? Oh, we got speakers, surround sound, so we got speakers here, because we like to party. We go, we go hard when we go camping, we party hard. And then we got more storage here, we keep our games in there. We have a good family night at the table, play that little teeth game where you got your teeth coming out. All kinds of goofy stuff. A lot of checkers. Nobody never beats me in checkers. So we'll come out here. You got more windows. When you get out here, so here's a part. Here's a part of that system. I got the other part of my house. Right now we got this camper in storage. So here's part of that system for the uh, weight distribution right here. All that's included with the price. Oh, one more other thing. Let's come back inside here. I'll show you one more thing. I'm serious about this camping shit. Let me show you. So I did a lot of research. And I wanted to make sure that when I went on the road, I was prepared for anything. So I, I got extra uh, 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 axle bearings, there's bearings in here, just in case you gotta fix something on the fly on the road here. Um, we got drums, brake drums, bearings, every, bushies, everything you were gonna need if one of your wheels were to lock up and seize up on you. I got a spare tire. And another thing about the spare tire is I'm gonna tell you if you guys join any of these forms, um, oh, we need this here. This is, that's not included. Oh, I just noticed that. You, you, don't, you don't get that. That's that's for our, our Nintendo game, for our old school Nintendos. We're 80s babies, sorry. We need our Nintendo system. All right, so come back out of here. You got more storage, tons of storage with lighting in there. And then you come back around here. You got a battery box. You also have a small solar panel on the rooftop. Uh, two propane tanks. These are still the original propane tanks. We've never had them filled. This thing really doesn't use a lot of resources. Come around to the side here, you got your water heater. You got your stabilizing jacks. You're not supposed to jack the camper up at the end. Just level, just stabilize it. Uh, pop outside. One of the things I want to point out that's really important for me anyways, I don't like dealing with bullshit when I'm on the road. I like to get where I need to go and get there quick. Right, so we got, there's just stains and there's these tires called China bombs in the industry. I took those off and replaced it with these Goodyear Endurances, which are kind of hard to get, but these are really nice tires. They're made in the USA, and these are not known for blowing up. So the, the ones that these campers come with uh, blow up and just explode randomly. They call them China Bombs. Um, so you got a new set of tires. These only have one trip on them. We just went through the Smoky Mountains, which was about five, 600 miles, I think, each way. I don't remember. So they probably got about a thousand miles on them. So they're good for a really long time. I put those on last year. Uh, out, some fresh water hookup, city hookup, power. This is a 30 amp camper. Uh, outside shower, more storage. You got your, your gray tank dump, your black tank dump. And here's the hookup to the ground there. Come down, you can store a tube in there. This is where you put your license plate if you want to put a license plate on it. Uh, you know, all your braking lights, you got a little storage rack, put more stuff on there, scooters, bikes, and whatnot. And then you got a dog leash right here, which I think is absolutely torturous to put your dog back here, but you can if you want to. We treat our dog like family, we like him close to us, so we don't put him in the back of the camper. Um, 
This is a step with private entry to the bathroom, which is kind of useless. We don't ever use that either, but you can if you want to. Outdoor speakers. We got an awning out here that comes in and out, retracts really good. You can't pull it out because there's a camper next to us now. Same tires over here. You can have the wheel chalks if you want them. Uh, got an ice maker and an outside refrigerator. It's got, oh, it's got some chocolate in there. Chocolate's probably not included. I'm probably gonna eat that because it is a cheat day right now. And then I used to put my uh, griddle on this is what I would do with this. And I debated taking that stuff out. You can do what you want, but I used to cook right here with my griddle, put my barbecue pit up. And you got, uh, here you go. So you got more, uh, here's your propane hookup right here. And I put a splitter on that so I can run multiple grills because I get down when I barbecue. Then you got your ladder, goes in and out. You got your screen door, boom. Got another privacy uh, uh, line there. Again, these are expensive. I don't know why it's not included when you buy this crap, but it's not. Um, so again, this is the 2021 Ray Wolf Cherokee DBH. Did I say that right? 23 DBH. Yeah. Cherokee made by Forest River. I think Forest River makes everything. Um, keep on coming back. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. We can take one more little tour on the inside here. We got a fire extinguisher right here. But if you guys, you know, you're probably not going to need that. So this thing's pretty cool. Keep on going. And then that's that's pretty much it. If you guys got any questions, feel free to reach out. We'd love to sell this bad boy to you. So it's a... Uh, We'll have the price in the description and the, and the ad here below. So y'all take care and happy camping.